Hello, everybody. Welcome to the final episode of Sui Coden. And here we are talking to Matthew. And he's asking us, are we ready? Are we ready to go fight our last major battle? And of course, of course we're ready. But first, we're going to say this. By the way, I'm Josh. You should know that already, but you know, sometimes you should introduce yourself when you're making a video. Sir Uber. Hmm. Liberation Army. Heh 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 heh. Ha 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 ha. Against our 100,000 troops, you can hardly call them an army. 100,000, that's a lot. A lot more than we thought they had. Master Ramsar, we have spotted the enemy. The, the, the number's about 100,000. Impossible. How could that be? You got tricked, Matthew. Oh, apparently most of 100,000 must be monsters that her sister conjured up. That ice, that ice is... uh. Yum yum drink that I'm drinking. So don't worry. The ice in your cup isn't going away. Sir Uber, the monsters are vanishing. What? It must be Lady Windy's sister. Don't worry, she will never be able to defeat Lady Windy's sorcery. Oh, it's no good. She doesn't have enough power to defeat her sister. But the soul leader might. You mustn't. I mean, if you never use the rune, do you just live forever? Because I feel like Ted didn't use it very much. And that's why he was 300. But Joshua, oh, dragon rune. Lend him the power. Uh-oh. Sir Uber. Don't be afraid, even without the monsters, we're still at an advantage. Uber, he knows, he was up. But we're here for the last battle. Major battle, at least. Trying to take Gregminster so we can get in and defeat Barbarossa. You scum. How dare you defy me? I'll kill you all. And of course, Gengen. Our Kir Kirumini. Gengen's from Tsukon 2. I went crazy there for a second. Woo! Um, we're going to use Dragon Knights right away because essentially they don't ever really get hurt. Because if uh, the bad guys are using arrows, I believe like the attack just doesn't even work. And that's what they're like weak against. And then we got the three ninjas to use. Use the ninja, see what they're doing. Use the appropriate paper rock scissors to defeat it. Bow attack? Huh. I wonder whatever shall we do. Charge attack. That's what we're going to do. But actually, um, if we do strategists... They will, uh, you know, power up our charge. So we might as well use a powered charge to fight. Suck on that. Knight's party. I like that we got Maximilian like one or two episodes ago. If that, and he's now made up of the most powerful charge attack that we have. Like, way to go. We lost a lot there. 41. But have no fear. We shall win. We shall be victorious. And uh, Kasumi is going to tell us that the enemy is doing a Uber's charge. Which would be a charge attack. So we don't want to use a charge against them. But they can suck on our magic. The children of the runes. May the 100 runes be with me. I think that's what he said. Beautiful. That's a good one though. 5,000 to zero. Hell yeah. And then we have one more ninja who can tell us what's up. And that number just keeps going down in the, under the Imperial Army. So, And they're doing a charge. So guess what we're doing one more time. One more time with the magic. Ha ha. I am a little sleepy. Which I think makes me a little talkative slash crazy right now. So bear with me in this very last 
Very last Suicoden. This is good. This game is great. And we are finally done with this Let's Play. It's been a very long time. After this, things are gonna change a little bit. We're gonna focus on some other videos. But I just wanted to get I just wanted to get this Suicoden done. It was time. We've been working on it for a very long time. Not hard, obviously, because it's been taking a long time, but uh, this is the end of this country. Oh well, I won't miss it much. Doesn't seem like Uber uh, was very invested. Hey, the dwarf. I was just in time. My name is Hanzo, leader of the ninjas of Rakaku. We hid out in the fields until this moment arrived. Until you won. <laughs> Chief Hanzo, you survived. Yes, but we had to keep it a secret. I'm sorry. Oh, no. We go to Rakaku in uh, Suikoden 2. You have come far, Commander Ramza. We are the Warriors Village have come to give you a hand. It has been a wonderful war. It's been a long time since we enjoyed such a big one. Our father, Clift the Crusader. Hey, Ramza, we don't have time to hear this old man's stories. Let's charge into Gregminster. Let's do it. Gregminster. All right, this is, uh, here we are. Back in Gregminster, where it started. Bookends. Good stories are we've got bookends. Started in Gregminster, gonna end in Gregminster. And under very different circumstances from the first time we escaped. Now all we have to do is take Emperor Barbosa's head. Let's do it, Ramza. I mean, Commander, take me with you. I want to avenge Odessa's death with my own hands. I wish, technically, that they leaned in a little bit more to I'm glad they didn't like force you to have Flick and Victor a lot but man would it kind of suck if you had five other people besides uh he the hero and you were like shit I need to use Victor and Flick right now um be it the monsters outside I think of this town are pretty strong now but to have to do that that would that would suck to have to level them up but Luck has it, I love Victor and Flick, and they're pretty far leveled up. And people level up pretty fast in this game. But we are taking them, Pesmerga, uh, arch enemy of Uber, who we've apparently just defeated. Well, he ran away. Clive, and Cleo. I have a... Mm, God, I love Grimio. But we're all set up. See, to take Grimio right now, we'd have to level him up, do some stuff. So I don't want to do that. But we haven't used Flick. I think we haven't used Flick in a while. Oh, okay. Although the Imperial Army is defeated, the Emperor himself is very powerful. Master Matthew, don't strain yourself any further. You shouldn't be outside. Ramza, please fulfill my sister Odessa's dream. All right. So by the power of movie magic, I just went back to the castle. And I just kind of equipped everybody with stuff. Just uh, made sure everyone's weapons were fully up to snuff and had all the armor that we could purchase i didn't i didn't really do anything special so you didn't miss anything but this is in in guide in guide i don't know you're the one now you're the one who let us go from the when we were discovered at Qu the fortress of quaba yes and i believe your name was stoltentime rockin reinbach stoltentime reinbach the third what do you want please let us pass i can't i'm an imperial general I mean, I got five of them on my team. <laughs> the Imperial Army is virtually finished. Please let us through. I owe you one, and I would hate to harm you. Yeah, come on, man. Even if the Imperial Army is defeated, I cannot betray Emperor Barbarossa. Ooh, my chair sucks. And if I betray him, who will he have left? If you insist on going any further, you will have to do this so over my dead body. Battles... So, this is a uh, second to last boss battle, essentially. Uh, use everything you got, because this is not, at the moment, a point of no return. So, we're going to fight him, use everything we have, and then we're going to go to an inn. We're going to leave and come back and go to an inn, because why not, right? So, Thunder God, because I equipped uh, Flick with the Thunder Rune, which is the mommy daddy of the uh, lightning rune it 
It's a fun little looking one. Victor still got his uh, clone rune. Pesmerga's just got his double beat. You know, killer. I think uh, Pesmerga's got killer rune, so he's uh, good on the uh, good on the, the crits. But he's like the strongest, one of the strongest physical guys. Well, he's definitely the strongest physical guy we have currently in our party. Uh, so really, strongest strongest magical attacks that we can. While Victor's unbalanced, I'm gonna have him do a little heal. And I'll have everyone else kind of attack using Judgment by Ramza and just fighting with Clive. Clive is really still just here. So we can all move really fast. That is like essentially his his total role. He's dope because he's got a gun. He looks cool. He and you see he doesn't do great damage, 198, like whatever. But uh just the fact that we all essentially get a go before the boss, or before anybody really. Is so helpful that we're gonna we're gonna use it. But he does some solid some solid stuff, and you know sometimes you do stupid things like heal Victor on accident when you were supposed to heal Flick, and then Flick dies. It's very embarrassing. It's one of those moves that it didn't have to happen. I'd like to pretend like I was like, uh, Flick was uh too high level. And I just didn't need him to level up anymore, but that's not really true. But, in all fairness, not a hard boss. Like I said, not a hard boss. So, we've got a dead flick, which is a bummer. But technically he's not dead. Because <laughs> Chloe has the uh, flowing rune. Is that the mother crystal for water? And so I gave her that. I, I tried to put it on Grimio, but he's just not a high enough level, so he didn't have good magic because I needed someone that was a... Oh, hold on. No, this is wrong. Well, we had to kill him, dude. Yes, he was wrong. Thank you, Victor. But just as some things can be right and useless at the same time, can't something be wrong and priceless? So, yep. Um, so movie magic here i actually went back healed everybody and we're good so i have all my spells restored again but i just want to like see over here see if there's an elephant dragon over here there's not are these dragons or are they like crazy sui coden horses who knows um i totally forgot what i was saying but yeah so whatever on that. Uh, oh, one thing. One thing that I think I I, I kind of learned, which I don't know if it's true or not, but uh, Sui Coden Two was technically originally I think supposed to be the first game. Well, it wasn't supposed to be the first game. It was the game that uh, the series creator originally wanted to make. That was like the one he wanted to make. I want to make this one. Um, but to kind of set that up, he wrote a whole backstory. Uh, to the world, which is essentially Sui Code 1. And so they made Sui Code 1 first, which is pretty cool. Um, Windspun Armor! We'll get to that in two seconds. But um, he, yeah, he wrote two stories. I don't know how much he wrote. I don't know if he wrote, I don't, you know, how much of an afterthought Sui Code 3, 4, and 5 were. They all kind of happened at different times. Uh, so no one in my group can equip windspun armor. It's pretty heavy armor for people. Uh, plus 63. So this is a weird thing that, uh, if you have all 108 characters and you're saved at the save point before the last boss, which is, will be there soon. But if you're saved there, um, then you can load your Suicoden 1 data into Suicoden 2. Uh, one weird thing is there's a couple people, you know, there's, there's people say, there's a lot of things of like, you know, there's X amount of characters that are in Suicoden 2 that were in Suicoden 1. And so if you want to level all them up, because then their starting levels will be a lot higher, which like Suicoden 1, 2 isn't hard to level up. So I don't really care about that. But there's one weird thing that ha is happening is that Humphrey is in Suicoden 2. And for whatever reason, you can't change his armor. His armor that he has is locked. Stupid. But since it's locked, 
And if you load up the data from one, you can actually, the, I went back, I didn't, I didn't put it on because it was just a thing. I'm just telling you about it because this is a long dungeon with a lot of random battles. Um, we'll skip a lot of them, but because it's those, uh, not mirages, they drop earth boots, by the way, but it's them and guards. And that is pretty much the whole thing. But um, you want to, I equipped, so I went back to the castle and equipped Humphrey with the windspun armor because he can equip it. So then when I transfer over my Suicone 1 data to Suicone 2, when I get Humphrey in that game, he'll have the windspun armor equipped, which is the best armor he can have. But if you don't do it in this game, he comes with whatever armor he would normally do in Suicone 2, which is probably not that bad, but it's you know, not the best he can have. So, and he's the only one that's like that, I think. No, everyone else can, you can, that you can play with, you can switch your armor. So, we did that, uh, well, I, so, oh, I did that, um, in between battles, really quick. But you didn't even notice, because I'm so good at editing. Um, this is, oh, it didn't happen here. So, our goal is literally just get to the top of the castle, confront Barbarossa, and end this dang old war. Um, these bad boy Colossuses can drop the Mother Earth Crystal. At this point, you probably would have one if you wanted to use it. So, you know, I guess if you wanted more. It's one of those things where, like, as an RPG lover, I've always wanted to be like, you know, like when I get done with playing Suicoden, it would be like cool to have a save, a save uh, state that is just like everybody that's playable is like level 99 with the best armor with all their weapons upgraded. But in the end, it's kind of like, well, that's just waste. It's wasting time. It's, it's like one of those trophies. It's like, you know, people don't, people don't give a crap about trophies or achievements like some people love them some people don't care i like i like collecting trophies and i do but i understand why people don't care at all for them um and but i definitely kind of see the like eh i don't need to level all these characters up i'm never going to use them it doesn't really matter it's just kind of like a weird point of pride but i had a friend who played uh, final fantasy 10 and they went back through the whole sphere game. this is on ps2 as well not for like the hd remake but they went through the whole ps2 sphere grid and you can re-up some of the spheres and make them better so you can fully max out your characters with all the black black spheres or something like that i can't remember now but he did that and i remember the tens of hours he spent 20 30 40 i don't even know like i mean most most of the game he was doing that and not like you know playing through the story and whatnot but it was cool that he did it. But it was something he loved to do. So, kudos. It's like he'll never do it again on that game. You know, he'll never do it ever again. But he kicked Final Fantasy X's ass when he played it. Kicked its ass. Um. So this is this right here. That's the whole. This is the whole dungeon. Is walking to an intersection. Like walk. To, let's walk to this intersection up here. And once we get here, oh, look, a guard. Literally, the whole thing. And then there's also random battles potentially in between. Oh, look, a guard. So I'm skipping these battles because we don't need to see them all. But we're going to check in every nook and cranny because there are going to be treasure. Oh, look, a guard. Oh, look, a guard. But I'm going to make you guys watch some of them. Um, but so, yeah, there's a part of me that always wants to like, you know, oh, I want to I want to get uh, I want to get everybody that you can be. But Suicoden a crazy one. It's di it's a different when you have, you know, five, six characters in a Final Fantasy game and you want to level all of them up. I mean, the sphere grid thing is crazy, but like Final Fantasy IX, you know, I want to I want everyone to learn all the abilities and be level 99. It's not like the craziest undertaking, but Man, I couldn't, I can't do it in Suicode and like, I, I'm going to beat the game and I have 39 levels to go because I'm pretty sure 
you can get to 99 in Subi Kelden. Unless it's 60, then awesome. But I don't think, uh, you know, there's just no point. There's just no point. Phantoms. These are cool. I like these uh, Pesmerga color swapped guys. They have pretty good evade, but I have better evade. Um, and they drop those earth boots like I said earlier. Oh, look, a guard. And this is the way to go. So I want to go to the right still for a treasure. A horned helmet. And actually, I believe somebody can still equip this. Cleo, there you go. Sweet. Um, can't buy horned helmets, I don't believe. So, finding them is the only way to do it. Because the full helmet is the best uh, buyable helmet possible. Uh, I kind of wish that, like, after you found something, like, maybe you had to grind to find it from a bad guy. And then you could, like, build it. It, it, it could make sense of saying, like, oh, hey, uh, blacksmith. Because you buy them from blacksmith. So, it's like, oh, hey, blacksmith, I, uh found this helmet could you replicate it and then they do could make sense right makes sense to me but you know hindsight's 2020 right also it'd just be too easy you know it's one of those things you you want to you want to be the best you gotta grind a little bit all right we are coming up here this is the final save point of the game power ring um so like i was just talking about sui code 2 earlier if you are playing along are planning or planning to play sui code in the future or whatever uh and then after this game you want to play sui code 2 to get a little bonus because you have a hall 108 stars in the previous game you want to have a save point here this is where it cares that you have a save point before the final boss, which I do, because it's this one. And no, I did not play this game for 92 hours. I left the game on for a very, very long time. <laughs> I prob game probably took about 25 hours total. Uh, and that's me running around getting all the like sound sets and window sets and everything too. I didn't get, you know, every weapon for everybody, but we are about it. I think this right here, this is the door. This is going to be the door to the boss. We got all a bunch of money. We're ready to go. Well, after the Metal Gear Solid 3 hallway ladder. Two people might not understand, but this is just, a, it's not even that long, nor near that long, but it's just a long hallway for really no reason. But here we are. Ramza, commander of the Liberation Army. Thank you for coming. Look at this garden, a beautiful place full of flowers and bloom. This is the end. It is all that remains of my empire. Ramza, I shall protect my empire with my own hands. Sprite works so good. Dragon King Sword, give me power. Dragon King Sword. Oh, let's fight uh, Barbarossa. Cool. It's gonna be dope. He's a cool. He's a cool dude. Holy shit, he's a dragon. Can you tell that I already knew that? Um. So. There's kind of a way you want to kill these things. Uh, the three heads have various uh, defenses, or they're they're immune to rune types. Um, we're gonna attack the bottom or the far left one, or its right head. So left for us, right to it. I'm gonna cast some fog, and we're just gonna go all out. I believe the 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 right, our right, I believe that one is immune. One of the other two are immune to lightning. So it's one of the reasons why we want to kind of go right here. Because we want to use all of Flick's high level lightning 
spells on this first one because it doesn't really work on the other ones. And actually, I think we'll see. Yeah, see the middle one is immune to lightning. Oh yeah, 1,000. That crit. That sweet, sweet crit. Um, Fog of Kindness raises our evade. Or I guess the bad guy's hit would, would make some sort of sense to me. Because we guess it on him and not us. Um, you know, 100, 200, whatever. It's keep everybody above... 300, 350, 400. But just hit it with everything you got. Um, Cleo, Cleo has plenty of healing spells. So she's gonna. She's gonna do it. She's gonna do a great, great job. But um, we're gonna go left, or our left, and then our right. And then we'll do the middle head. The middle head we will save for last. I don't know if that's necessarily like 966. Killing it. A little healing. Little dragon laser. See, I mean. If we're pretty much healed after everything, it only attacks once, which is awesome, amazing. Um, I don't know what it is, but I feel like in the later Suicoden games, essentially 3, 4, and 5, and I haven't played any of those in a very long time, so bear with me, but I just recall getting to the last boss. Like having, you know, the whole game is the whole game. Pretty easy. You know, it's a uh, pretty classic of you. Oh, we got the, we got this head. Oh no, we didn't. That was just a, I thought we had it, but it, we didn't have it yet. That was just a crit, a critical attack. But, um, whole, play the whole game. Things are, you know, doing pretty good, pretty strong. There we go. We got him now. Blech. Now we're gonna go to the head on the right, or its left head. Um, and then I get to the last boss, and the last boss is friggin' super hard. And this is more four or five. Which one do you fight a tree? <laughs> I maybe that's even three. I can't remember, but I can like distinctly remember having like flown through the whole game, and then at the end, the last boss was like a tree. You know, it, it's the same as this one where the last boss is a person or whatever and then they turn, they use a rune and they turn into a big giant monster. Um, so I'm not, it's not really a spoiler. So apologies if someone was like, oh man, I fought a tree, I didn't want to know that. Like, I can't, I'm not going to tell you who it is because the tree isn't going to be the thing that brings it, uh, it's going to ruin it. But you fight like a tree and I got to the tree and I was like, yeah, I'm kicking everyone's ass in this game. And I got there and I was like, I'm getting my ass kicked now. I don't know what the hell was it. I, I didn't like that. That wasn't cool. So, I feel like after... I mean, this is a pretty... He's a pretty... He'd be a really hard boss. Um, the Golden Hydra. He'd be hard if we weren't so prepared for healing, essentially. Like, I mean, this is definitely... A, the only reason we're having a good offense is because we got a good... He healing fence not really a defense essentially but but yeah gotcha all right and we hopefully will get this bad boy head out a little bit so we can use uh lightning on him too he still gets hurt with lightning which is good this whole my whole strat right here is based around the fact that i want to use all of flick's lightning spells before I run out and be able to use them. Because most of my strat in this entire game is just based around physical attacks. I went physical. I think a lot of people probably would play this game a lot differently than I would. And I, I would say I probably play Suicoden 2 a lot differently. 
uh, I played that one a lot with, uh, you know, like focus on getting unite attacks and having some fun uh, magic people. But I still just kind of, you know, you play, you play, so, there's so many characters in all of them. You just, you just play with the guys you think are cool. And I think this is a pretty cool group. Uh -huh. All right, we better, we probably happening upon the near end of this right head. Right head on the right. It's left head. I want to be accurate. But I'm still using those shadow fingertips. Um, obviously, I can't use deadly fingers on this guy because I will not make it just go away. That would be silly. And I believe that is it. We got that one. So now we only have the middle head left. Um, which is <laughs> kind of a bummer because that lightning attack that Flick Dish did didn't do anything. But that was because we were already casting on the other one. But we killed it. Um, so the biggest thing that we have to worry about now is that we have to kill this middle head quickly because it is possible that it can actually revive one of the other heads. And if that happens, that's, that would suck. That could make this game really, really hard. So if we get that, nope, no thank you. But luckily, uh, you probably saw while we were using some of the um, other Ramses runes, he was kind of hurting it a little bit at the same time. So it does have a little damage already on it, which is good. So we're not starting from scratch right now, but we still need to just pretty much Flick has got a regular attack because he can't use any of his runes. When Victor can use his rune, use it. Pesmerga, regular attack. Cleo's going to keep us healed. And Hero will use, Rams is going to use that black shadow for two more turns and then we will switch him to regular attack as well. But we are on a race against the clock right now. I'm just trying to get this head down before it tries to heal. And so, I mean, you know, Cleo, I don't think Cleo's done anything in this, pretty much nothing besides she cast uh, that fog of kindness to raise a vade at the first time, which doesn't really matter, but you know, did it anyway. We'll do some healing because then Cleo can actually attack one more black shadow and we'll attack. And then literally everybody is just using physical attacks on this guy, but we drained our magic on the other two heads. So we're good. We'll be good. You got nothing. I wonder if uh, the attack from Flick's a little weak. Potentially because Flick's weapon I have imbued with lightning. I put the lightning bits on his uh his weapon. I don't know, maybe. Maybe not. Um hmm, we can fight. You can use a rune. Fight. She could heal. Might as well. It's always being safe to sorry. I mean Worst thing that could happen is it kills one of my people and then revives a head. That would be very bad. Well, I mean, we do have the ultimate rune that will. Oh. Would you look at that? Final boss defeated. Got a noisy chair. Got a noisy chair. And then the heal. Like, done with the battle. Let's heal. Whoa. Mm, the generals. Your Highness. Kasim. You've changed, Your Highness. Why? We believed in you. Kasim, I've missed you. And I miss those days we fought together. 
You were deceived by that woman, by Windy. Oh, speak of the devil. Barbarossa, what happened? You lost the Golden Emperor indeed. And you call yourself the Golden Emperor for shame. That's kind of mean, Windy. How dare you insult his highness. Don't be silly. Who? Your highness. It's funny, you gotta think that these these generals here joined us just in entirety just to essentially save the emperor. Because he's changed. They want to get him back. Don't you just suck me in? Pew, pew, pew. That's Odessa. Grimio. Tio. Ted? Oh, some solid PS1 graphics. There's a dope looking triangle or prism. Probably prism. It's a tilted square, really. Pew. Making my own sound. Sound effects. Why do you reject me, Soul Eater? You control life and death and eat souls. It's like, yeah, I know what I do. I'm your ideal host. Together, let us take revenge on this cru on this cursed world. Even you reject me, Soul Eater. Even the most cursed rune refuses me. That's enough, Wendy. Stop it. What are you doing? I'll destroy you with my magic. It's no use, Wendy. The rune of my dragon sword, my dragon king sword, the sovereign rune, is protected against any form of magic. Not all my magic. <laughs> Even the rune of the gate. But with the black rune, you were. I lied. It's crazy. He just pretended to be under her control. What do you plan to do, Barbarossa? I loved you. Liar, you love my resemblance to Claudia. Hmm, interesting. That's not true. I wanted to erase the sadness that lies hidden deep in your eyes. The sadness of one who cannot accept others. I loved you, but that was a mistake. It was my only mistake, but it cannot be forgiven. Man lived his whole life and only made one mistake? I'd say that's pretty solid. Please, please stop it, Barbarossa. As a result of my mistake, I lost my empire. Ramza, what kind of land will you create in its steed? Stead. <laughs> Emperor Barbarossa! Emperor... Your Highness. Farewell. Good sprite work. I flip and jumped off a building. The end of the Emperor. He killed himself. Saving his empire, essentially. So technically, his people. And the end of the Empire. I don't think this palace will hold for much longer. We'd better escape. Yep. Can I move? Okay. Uh, please escape. This place won't hold much longer. Emperor Barbarossa. You already said that. We'll be following after you very soon. The Emperor. Alright, bye guys. Gotta go. Dope garden though. Loved it. And now we get out of here, guys. We gotta escape. I think there's random battles still. We'll see. But really, it's just... We gotta hightail it out. Get out, get out, gotta get out. Yep. 
there's a single phantom in our way. We just beat the last boss, but of course we have to fight random battles on the way out. Cool. Huh. It's the Liberation Army. Don't let them escape alive. Ramza, I st I'll stall them. You go on ahead. He's going to do it anyway. So, I mean, you can tell him to not be ridiculous, but... We've been with Victor for 93 hours. So I think we know what he's going to do. So let's just say hurry. Don't worry, I'm Victor the Invincible. I'll follow you soon. Well, whatever he doesn't lack in confidence, or brains, he makes up in confidence. Anybody feel like dying today? Step forward, I'll fight until my heart stops. All right, well, let's get going. The red really makes you think uh, some bad's happening. Oh, shit. Fool, be careful. Got shot by an air. Oh, he's fine. <laughs> Ramsey, you were chosen by Odessa to rebuild this country. I can't let you get killed here, or else Odessa will be furious when I get to see her again. Up there. Go. And fulfill Odessa's dream. Hurry. I really don't want to leave you. I like Victor, but man, Flick, you're my man. You're my boy, Flick. It's a bit too early to see Odessa again. Our reunion can wait until I become a better man. Oh, hey, Victor. Killed them all. Where's Ramza? He's gone ahead. Now we can fight to our heart's content. Yeah, too bad I have to fight alongside you. Ramza has escaped this way. We must avenge the Emperor. I didn't even kill him. The Emperor killed himself. Let's go, Star Dragon Sword. You sure know how to treat a man. In the name of my sword, Odessa, I won't let you pass. And then we get to be outside. We had everybody waiting for us. Hey, everybody! Look, we won! We won! Why did they? Did they? Did they see us? How do they know that we won? Also, Cleo is right there. <laughs> we did it! We did it, Sylvania. Carcass. It has ended, alas, Bester Ramza. Cleo, you're with me. Our empire has been destroyed. Pun never is happy. Look, Tengar, we won. We defeated the empire. Ouch, ouch. Don't pull me like that. Oh, sorry. So, so sorry. Black is avenged, I guess. It's... Over. Hey, old man, aren't you lucky you got to see all this before kicking the bucket? Stop calling me old man. You silly Billy. Oh, poor sick Matthew. Master Louikin, those voices. Have we won? Cough, cough. Cancer, cancer. Yes, undoubtedly. I see. Mess Luikin, I despise war. I always felt that to take a life of another, for whatever reason, was wrong. And yet I became a military strategist and took many lives. Did I do the right thing? It's debatable, right? Perhaps I should have remained in that village, fishing in my idle moments until my death. Master Matthew, the answer to that. Are you asleep now, Master? You may rest in peace. You have accomplished so much in your life. He didn't have an answer. 
I think you did the right thing, Matthew. Does that mean anything? Maybe. Maybe it doesn't. Well, that's it. We did it. We beat Suicoden. And this is kind of the who did what, where everybody went. It's going to tell us what everybody did after that war that we just won. Still in search of Uber, he leaves the country. Grimio follows Ramsa. I'm going to let you guys just kind of read these, enjoy the credits, and see the end screen, and that's going to be it. Uh, I appreciate you sticking with me, enjoying this Let's Play, hopefully. Um, and there'll be more stuff to come, but just uh, thank you, and... Whatever happens next, we will see you then. But until then, keep your sword sharp.